Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the electrical quantities, basic electrical quantities. First we will see the charge. The charge is nothing but a physical property of the matter that causes it to produce a force when an electromagnetic field is applied. Right? So it is a property, charge is nothing but a property of the matter. When electromagnetic field is applied, it experiences a force. So in any object there are n number of electrons, protons and neutrons are available under normal condition. Electrons, proton and neutrons are available under normal condition. Electron is a you know that positively charged, negative charge. Proton is a positive charge and neutral is neutral. There is no positive or negative. So under normal condition there is no the movement of electrons. If any external force is applied, then the atom will move from one place to another place. So while applying the external force, what will happen? The electrons are moving from one place to another place. Due to this movement, if number of electrons are less than the number of protons, then it is known as positive charge. The number of electrons are less, protons are more. You know that proton is positively charged. So the entire object is termed as positive charge. If number of electrons are less than the number of protons, then it is known as positive charge. Suppose if number of electrons are more than the number of protons, then it is known as negative charge. So if electrons are more, automatically it is a negative charge. So charge is purely based on number of electrons and protons. Under normal condition, there is no movement of atom. While applying any external force, the atoms are moving. Under that condition, if electrons are more than proton, then it is negatively charged body. If electrons are less than the number of protons, then it is called a positively charged body. So we are dealing with a charge that is purely depends upon number of electrons and protons in any object. Right? So, while applying external force, what will happen? The electrons are moving from one place to another place. So this movement and the number of electron and what is the energy, what is the power, everything coming based on the movement of the atom. Right? So that movement of atom is nothing but current. How many atoms are moving? How many atoms are available? That refers potential, potential difference, energy and power. Now we will see these terms one by one, right? So all other terms is purely based on the movement of the electron while applying external force. So next we will see the electric current. So we already discussed with any external force is applied, the electrons are moving. Atoms are moving from one place to another place. So the flow of free electron, so this electric current, the symbol is I. The flow of free electron in a conductor is called the electric current. Right? So the current is flowing, we are saying current is flowing. Current is flowing means the flow of free electron in a conductor. So it is defined as rate of change of charge dq divided by dt. How much the charges are moving dq divided by dt. Right? So the flow of free electron in a conductor is called the electric current. It is defined as rate of change of charge. The symbol is I, I equal to dq by dt, the unit is ampere. Right. So while applying external force, the free electrons are moving, that is nothing but a electric current. And how many electrons are moving? That we will see the next. That is called electric potential or potential or voltage. What is that? The ability of the charged body to do the work. The how much, how the electrons are moving, how many electrons are moving, that is a potential. That is the ability of the charged body to the work, either 10 electron or 100 electrons. We are saying we have the, I have the potential to do this work. I, I am able to take 5 books, I am able to take 10 books. That is our potential. Similarly, here potential refers the charged body to do the work that is nothing but work done by charge work done by charge is nothing but a yeah, 
voltage. What is the charge available? How many electrons are moving? That is nothing but work done by charge will give the voltage. The unit is volt. Next we will see the potential difference. What is the potential difference? In one place the electrons are more, another place the electrons are less. So the difference in potential of two different bodies is nothing but a potential difference. In one place 100 electrons will be there, another place 1000 electrons will be there. So there is a difference in potential that is called a potential difference. Then, then we will go to the power. What is the power? The rate at which the work is done in an electric circuit is called a electric power. What is the rate? So while applying any external force the atoms are moving. So how many atoms are moving is nothing but a electric power. right? The rate at which the work is done. So I am able to take 5 books in a, within a 1 second. I am able to take 10 books in a 1 second. So that is nothing but power. So here the rate at which the how many electrons are moving is a potential, how many electrons moving in a given time, within a time, the rate that is nothing but a power, right. So there are now so many electrons are moving, 10 by 10 electrons are moving one by one, that is called a potent, that is a power, the rate at which the work is done. So the general formula is voltage into current, the unit is watts, right. So next we will see the energy. What is energy? So it is nothing but capacity of the charged body to do the work at a given time. So I am able to take 10 book or 20 book at what time? Either 1, one seconds or 1 minute or 1 hour. That refers the energy. Energy always refers voltage into current that is power into time. What is the power consumed in a given time? That refers the energy. Right? So, the electrons are moving. The ability to move the electron is nothing but potential. I am able to move this book. The rate at which how many books are moving, that is the power. How many books are you are moving for a given time is the energy. Right? So, the electrons are moving is a potential. The electrons are moving at a given rate, that is the power. The electrons are moving given rate for a given time is the energy. Right? So the unit is joule. Next we will see the charges. What is the general term for the charge? So one coulomb of charge equal to one coulomb of charge equal to one divided by one point six zero two into ten to the power minus nineteen. This universally it is a constant. The one coulomb of charge is this value. So 1 divided by, so it is nothing but 6.24 into 10 to the power 18 electron. 6.24 into 10 to the power 18 electron. That is 1 coulomb of charge. Suppose a single electron have a charge. Positive charge or negative 2 charges available. So minus 1.60 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Similarly, single proton that is positive plus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Right? So, this is the one coulomb of charge, this value. This is one single electron having the charge and one single proton having the charge. Right? This is negative and this one will be positive. We will see some more quantities with the symbol and unit. Now we will see this, the quantity, symbol, unit and formula for the further electrical quantities. First we will see the charge, the charge is symbol is Q, the unit is coulomb, it is written as C. That is nothing but current into time, the formula is current into time, right. The charge it is termed as Q, the coulomb, the unit is coulomb, it also written as C. The formula is I into T. Then next one is the current. The symbol is I. The unit is ampere. It is written as A. That is the formula is Q divided by T. Charge divided by time. Third one voltage. The symbol is V. 
the unit is volt it is can be written as v what is voltage w by q work done by charge w by q then energy the symbol is w the unit is joule we can write it as j power into time the energy always refers what is the power at a given time p into t then what is the power power equal p the unit is watts w w by t the power is nothing but w by t the next one resistance r the unit is ohm the symbol is ohm v by i the formula is v by i the capacitance the symbol is c farad f q by v the formula is q by v next inductance l the unit is henry q by i then frequency the symbol is f unit is hertz 1 by t then impedance z the symbol is z ohm v by i then admittance symbol is x ohm v by i so these are all the some electrical quantities we referred with the symbol unit and formula so in this video we discuss about the electrical quantities definition of electrical quantities then unit formula and some more electrical quantities also discussed with the symbol and formula thank you